Okay. Hi. How's it going? Is it parents weekend or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, then either you don't like your parents or they really like you. I'm not really sure which one, but uh, interesting thing to have a parents weekend. Be sort of people on Zoom with parents weekend. You think they'd be out with your parents. They usually doing something later with your parents. Or their parents. So, I, don't know. I had parents weekend many times with my kids. So, um, so we'll get through this. All right. Oops, I probably for something I shouldn't have. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Macedo. Uh, I went to school here. I graduated in 1986, um, way before you were born. Um, so it makes me old. Uh, I uh, actually got my degree in marketing, um, and I went to go work for a commercial brokerage company called Marcus and Millichap at the time in the real estate business. Um, I, uh, a number of years later, I went back and got my degree in finance. So I uh, came back and got my MBA. So I have an undergraduate and graduate here. Um, so know the school very well. I'm also the chair of the Real Estate Advisory Committee here. So uh, I was one of the founding members of the Real Estate Advisory Committee. I've uh, been the chair now for five years. Uh, so we've been running that. Um, I've been married for you know a long time. It's actually 33 years now. Uh, my kids went to Boulder. Sorry, but you know, uh, they that was a great place to visit on Parents Weekend, by the way. It was really kind of fun. Um, I found um, I was in the banking business for a lot of years. That's why I do a capital markets business. So I um, this is capital markets, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I started a private a private equity hedge fund in 1999 called Handle Financial. Um, we did uh, we we basically raised money from. Uh, public and private pensions, uh, private institutions, public institutions, and uh, then we put those out and in, invested in real estate deals on their behalf. Uh, did about $3 billion of deals over almost 125 joint ventures, um, structured everything on the planet, um, sold that company in 2012, um, and started Geneva Street Partners, which is what I do now. Uh, I went from the money side, I'm now a developer, so I build uh, apartments now. Um, so the apartments, they're mostly on the west side of LA. I'm building Clover City, Palms, Mar Vista, um, uh, 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 Venice, and then we have a project in Torrance and a project in uh, Encino. So mostly multifamily, but when I was in the hedge fund business, we did every property type. We did hotels, office, retail, all those kinds of things. So we did, uh, we did lots of that. So. And again, if you guys have questions along the way, don't please don't hesitate to ask. Hey, there he is. What's happening? All right. So today we're going to talk about the money side of real estate. Is everyone here taking the principles class? Anyone? Is this anyone's first class online or anything? Taken already? Taken a class? Which class have you taken? Um, out of the uh, out of any of them. Uh, I've taken, I think, six of them last semester. Okay. Last semester. Okay. Yeah. What, did you take the real estate principles one with Anthony? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which ones have you taken? Do you know? First one? Yeah. Okay. I've never taken. First one? Okay. First. First one? Almost all of them? Okay. So we got, we got a couple first timers. Um, if you are a first timer, I would recommend taking Anthony's class. I think that's one of the required classes to get the certificate. I think there's three required classes to get the certificate. Take Anthony's class, it, it, it's kind of like the introduction to real estate, okay? Kind of like the basics introduction to what real estate is and careers and things of that nature, uh, different types of businesses that, that go into it. Um, this particular one, and, and just so you know, there are a hundred, this is a fancy room, by the way, I was about to teach in this room. Um, there are, um, in the real estate business, there are hundreds of careers if not thousands of careers, okay? There are careers in architecture, there's careers in engineering, there's careers in appraisal, there's careers in brokerage, there's careers leasing space, managing space, property management, um, being in the hotel business, you'd be in the services business, that's still a real estate piece of property. So there's still real estate things that go with it, okay? This business, what we call the capital markets business, is the business of money. Okay, this is the sole business of capital that provides capital to developers and owners of real estate so they can build, hold, lease, operate their business. So it is the 
the venture capital side, so to speak, of the business. So if you were Apple and you're looking for money, you would go to banks and raise stock and all those kinds of things. Um, this today's class is going to be solely about how to capitalize for the money side of the investment. I started on the money side. I was 20 years in the money side, 20, 22 years in the money side. And now I've been 10 years on the development side. So again, when you think about, hey, uh, when you think about, you know, careers in real estate, I always tell people, you know, do what you love, do what you like. I'm really good with numbers. That's kind of a curse and a good thing, I guess, you know, some people are very creative. So they get an interior design and they design. Um, so people are, uh, are creative and they get an architecture or they're, they have left, right brain. So they get architecture. Um, this is the money side. This, this is the left brain side. Okay. The right brain, which is creative side, is how they how we structure deals to make sense for developers. 